Hi everyone, I'm Lisa and today I'm going to show you how to deliver a lead magnet using my favorite tools which are lead pages, Drip, Amazon S3, and Bitly. Now Bitly is optional. I just like it because I can track links on which places my downloads are getting hit the most and which they're not. Um, so we can talk about that later, but first what you're going to do is you're going to go into Trip and you're going to create a new opt-in form. So that's step one. So we'll name this my HTML cheat sheet. And I'm gonna go ahead and activate it so I don't forget later. And I want to add another field down here. I want to collect the first name. I'm going to make that required, add that field, and I'm going to move it on top because I think that's more intuitive. And for visibility, I'm going to say only show on specific pages, otherwise it will pop up. That's the default feature of Drip. And I'm going to say save settings. We're going to create an email. So we'll go over here to campaigns and we'll say new drip campaign and we'll say drip html cheat sheet campaign and in here under emails i will say start from scratch all right i've gone ahead and typed in this email and i am now ready to insert my download which is my lead magnet and I've uploaded it already to Amazon S3. And if you want to know where to find the link, you simply click on your download, click properties inside Amazon S3, and I am going to copy this link. Now, as I said, I created a bit link for bit.ly link for this. So um, I am going to both put the link over here if I double click my image, and I'm gonna let it open in a new window. And over here, your free download, I'm going to make this a link as well. So this is my email. I'm going to save it. If I want, I can send a test email um, to myself. So I'll do that. And it's landed over here in my inbox. And I'll go ahead and test out this link. And it works just fine. So it's delivering the lead magnet as promised. So we're good to go. Next, you're going to create an automation. So we're going to go to new workflow and we are going to call it the drip cheat mail workflow or cheat sheet. And my first step is when someone is submits a form, and that form is the one we just created, the drip HTML cheat sheet option. It's going to be the trigger. And the next step is I want to apply a tag and I'm going to call it the drip cheat sheet, HTML cheat sheet. Then I want to send them the campaign so they get the email that has the lead magnet and I'll say send a campaign and in here is my drip HTML campaign. And that's pretty much it. Over here on the right, you want to go ahead and make sure you start it. Now, the next part is lead pages, and this is my lead box that pops up so people can opt in to be sent this workflow. And inside lead pages, I'm going to make sure I'm at lead boxes. I don't need a whole page, just a pop-up box. And I'm going to click Create Lead Box with Standard Builder. I'm going to name this lead box html cheat sheet and i am going to integrate it with drip now i've already set up my drip integration on the back end so over here uh, it will give me a list of all of my campaigns and all of my workflows so if i don't see it i can simply click reload and it will pull all of the latest workflows and campaigns from drip and i can see it right here workflow drip html cheat sheet and I also like getting emails, so I get a little notification that's integrate with lead notifications. And I'll say customize this form. So next, I want to collect first name. So over here, I am going to, so email's okay. I want to add first name. And again, I'm gonna move it to the top because I think first name and then email is a little more intuitive. Um, over here, I'm going to make sure it's required. I'm going to change this by uploading a new image. Um, I already have it in here, so I'm going to select it. And I'm going to just change this. This is the default text. 
Once you click there on the left, you can edit the text inside here. And I'm going to say download your HTML email cheat sheet now. And over here for the call to action, I'm going to say yes, please. And I want the letter spacing to be a little wider, so I'm going to make it a little bigger. It's not that important. All right, so we're done. Um, we're going to go ahead and save this, and then we're going to publish it. So you're going to hit publish, and it's really just that easy. So all of this code in here is what you could embed on a website. Um, we're going to save this code. So I'm going to copy this code. I'm going to go over here to a Google document and I am simply going to paste it in because I don't need the whole thing. The only part I need is this first link right here through to the end inside those quotes. So I'm going to control C over there. I'm over here in YouTube. So to download the cheat sheet, I'm going to put my now this is a really long URL, so I'm actually going to make this a bit.ly link. The other nice thing about this link is you can put this pop-up box even in Facebook. So this is a post, and I could say download the cheat sheet now, and I could put that link, I could publish it, and right from Facebook, if someone clicks this, it's going to bring that pop-up for you in a new window. Uh, you could also make it your sign up button too and use that as the URL. So that's why I really like the lead box. It's pretty versatile and you can use it in a lot of different places. We will paste that in there. And we're all set. So we're going to go ahead and publish this. And now when people put in that URL, so we'll put it in over here, our lead box is going to pop up. So this is our lead box. People can sign in with the test name. They can put their email. They'll say yes, please. And then they'll be entered into this automation here where they will have the HTML cheat sheet tag added to them. And then the campaign will start, which sends them their email. And inside that email is the link to download the cheat sheet, which we stored on Amazon S3. So that's pretty much it. I think it's really easy. I really like the pop-up feature of lead boxes. I know there are other tools out there, I think Thrive and everything else, but that's kind of my system and what I use, and hopefully that helps you. All right, let me know if you have any questions, and I will see you next week with some more tutorials.